So I have some stuff in here already. I have an array of uh, words. Uh, so I've got apple, banana, and grapes in there. So this array is sizes three elements currently. I have also written a little helper function just to print out my array so I don't have to keep um, writing that over and over again. So this guy just iterates over the array and prints out um, what's in there. So let me run this for you and show you what it's doing right now. So it is just going to print my list, uh, original version, apple, bananas, grapes. So it's printing these guys out. I do have it adding one to the index because uh, when humans look at a list and see it start with the number zero, that's a little weird. Um, that's not that important. So I'm gonna collapse this guy. And what I wanna do is I want to um, be able to add a new word to this list. And so I have a little problem. Um, when I make an array in Java, it, um, it's set to keep the size that it has. So um, this guy has three elements and um, I can't really resize it. Um, so I'm gonna use some trickery to accomplish that. So I'm gonna write a new little function here. Static. Um, it's going to um, return, whoops, what happened? It's going to return an array. So my return type is going to be this. Um, and I'm going to call it add words. And I'm going to pass to it my initial array of words. Oops. All right. And so here's what this guy's going to do it's going to let me add one additional word to the array. So I have to do some little bit of trickery. Um, so if I am looking at an array, um, basically I've got two parts to it, right? I've got these, like, if you imagine an array as boxes, I've got these three boxes sort of sit down in the computer memory um, in some location in my machine. Um, and then I have this identifier and it is a separate thing from those three boxes. It's really, it's pointing to them. We call that a reference. So it's like, it's going like this. So it's pointing somewhere in the memory of my computer and it's pointing to these three elements somewhere. So if I want to resize an array, what I have to do is make a new one with the new size I wanna have. I'm gonna copy the contents of the old one. I'm gonna to go to the new element I added and inject whatever new input I want there. And then I'm gonna take this, um, this pointer, this reference, and I'm gonna point it, I'm gonna not point it at this old array anymore. I'm gonna point it at my new array. Um, so that's a little bit about what I'm trying to do overall. Um, so let's try that. So first thing I said was you need to make a new array with the size you want. So that's gonna be one bigger than the array I have already. So I'm gonna just call this string more words equals new string. And I need it to be one bigger than my old one. And if I run this uh, program in a loop or something, um, right now I know it's three, but if it kept running over time, it could be more than that in there or less. So I'm gonna ask this guy for his size and then I'm just gonna add one to it. So it's gonna make it one bigger than my old one. Okay, so now I have this new, um, this new array. Um, it has one more element than the old array did, um, but it doesn't contain the contents of the old array. So the next thing I'm gonna do is copy the contents of the old array over. And so I'm gonna run a loop through the old array and I'm going to go to that same location in my new array and set it equal to location in the old one. Okay. Um, now I've got it filled except for that last element that I added. And so I'm gonna let the user tell me what that is. So I need to make a scanner. All right, let's ask them. and I'm going to put into the last new element I just made, and I'm gonna get to that like this. I'm gonna ask this guy for his length, minus one, that'll be the last element, and I'm gonna let it be my scanner read. Okay, so now I have the new word in there, and the last thing I have to do now is get this information sent back to main where I'm gonna call this forum. So I'm gonna say return more words. And the way I'm going to call it looks like this. 
I'm going to say take my old array reference and set it equal to this function call so that when this thing sends back more words, I am detaching this from this old set of elements and reattaching it to the new set of elements that this thing is returning. And I can see if it works by printing this again. So let's say this is a new version. All right, let's try this. There we go. There's my original three words. New word, um, how about cherries? Okay, and here's my new version, apple, banana, grapes, cherries. You see my array is one bigger. Ta-da!